as you'll ever see, at least up in the northern latitudes. It's a uh, Japanese bitter orange plant, I believe. Japanese bitter orange, and it has oranges, uh, some of which have stayed on. And I can get it off without getting pricked. Um, these oranges have a lot of seeds in them. If I can get it open, we'll worry about that later. But the plant is related, it's a citrus plant, and it survives in the northern regions. And um, I'm going to try to graft. I'm going to try to graft a um, regular orange tree onto this thing this summer, and see if we can have the result survive the elements, because obviously this plant here is a survivor. Here we go. Here the you should be able to see the seeds in here. These are the seeds. Plenty of seeds, and once in a while you'll see a baby plant underneath this tree. And what we'll do is we'll try to um, grow some of these. I have one growing in Pennsylvania, and I've given a few of them away. But it's a, a very uh, interesting plant, and I, I guess you could grow it for some sort of citric, citrus oils that would come out of the, the skin of the um, these oranges. They're, they're definitely oranges. They go, they're orange. They're bitter. So I don't know how palatable they are, if you, but the um, fact of the matter is, is that they do exist. And you might want to go to uh, the internet and find more out about the bitter orange. And uh, if you want to send me a self-stamped addressed envelope, I'll throw a few seeds in them. And you can see how you can do. All right, take care.